What's going on, Legion of Zen? I'm Zentori on XYZ. Thank you very much for joining me here today. We're going to be getting into some mystery boxes today, and these are from Walgreens. I was able to find some, and hopefully there's a vintage pack in here somewhere, or more than one. Let's find out. Let's take a look. All right, so really, really important thing to keep in mind. If you go to your Walgreens, your local Walgreens, make sure you ask a cashier, make sure you ask some of the employees there if there's Pokemon cards anywhere other than the toy section where they normally are. Because I was able to get these, however, uh, some of these were not in the toy section, they were on a different aisle. So, um, just really quick here, uh, there are some mystery boxes. I'll show you guys what these look like. As you can see, you can go, uh, you can get a mystery pack, a, a mystery item. So basically four booster packs, a mystery item, a coin, and an online card. Now the mystery item could be a vintage pack and that vintage pack can go all the way to a uh, base set. So you don't know what kind of mystery uh, item you're going to get in here, but uh, as you can see in the back here, base set two, uh, they got a breakthrough pack on there. Um, you know, just, uh, eh, whatever, whatever. But the point is, uh, you need to make sure that you ask somebody over at Walgreens and, uh, and find out if they actually have them or not. Now, the other thing, and they, they're actually right next to each other in the same container is you can find these blisters. Now, these are really good because you know, obviously these are packs that are expensive right now, uh, hard to find. Uh, Dragon Majesty, uh, Hidden Fates, Shining Legends. So you can also grab those from Walgreens. Now we're not going to get into those, but we are going to get into the mystery boxes. Now, the other thing that you can get at Walgreens, which I thought was really cool, is these lightning boxes. They're a little expensive, $17.99-ish, right? But they do have Evolutions packs in them and... If you can find the right ones, then you might be in luck. So this one in particular has three evolutions packs. There's one hidden right back here. Three evolutions pack and an ancient origins. I'm gonna open up this in another video. So this is gonna be basically a two part uh, Walgreens extravaganza. Um, but then the second one here has a Roaring Skies. Uh, in the back, it does have a uh, uh, Fates Collide. And then two evolutions packs. These evolutions packs are going for about 10, $10 to $15. I've seen some for like $8.99, but they're really expensive now. They're very popular. So Walgreens has those. Um, I am not sponsored at all by Walgreens. I just happen to go to my Walgreens and find all this good stuff. So let's take a look at these. I'm going to put these off here to the side and we're just going to get into these. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I do have my scissors here. Now these are all individually wrapped. Uh, they do have a very, pretty hard, a thick uh, wrapping around them, uh, which is nice. So, you know, I think that this would be very difficult to reseal. Be, and if they do at any point reseal this, um, they would have to get like a really good wrapping to to um, reseal that. So it, it's a good sign. I like it. I like that the way that these are, are packaged. Uh, it does, I think, help with... Um, you know, the potential of resealing. And apparently, as, as you guys may have known, resealing is a big thing right now. There's a lot of people out there scamming, uh, you know, resealing old vintage boxes. Uh, we've seen it with um, some, some big time investors that have uh, just recently been scammed. Uh, and and it's, it's a real shame. It's a real shame. It's happening and we just need to be careful. So this particular box came with uh, a pin, which is, I'm, uh, I'm guessing this is the mystery item for the box and only four packs. So this one did not have, there is a code there. And I'll give that to you guys in a second. Oh, very cool. Very nice. Uh, an old pin from the black and white uh, era. Very, very nice. Or a coin. Sorry about that. All right. So we have the Darkness Ablaze. Not bad. Okay. One pretty good pack there. Another Darkness Ablaze. So far, this is actually not a bad box. Sun and Moon. Uh, you can still buy Sun and Moon for about $100 a booster box. Uh, they're really not going up in price very much, but 
I think it's a nice set. I don't I don't know why uh, people wouldn't buy them. Uh, Crimson Invasion. Eh, okay. I mean, two decent packs and then two good packs. So the first box, not much in there, but hey, you know what? It's all good. We'll just throw that over there. And I'm gonna get into these boxes. Um, see if I can just snip that. We're gonna get into these boxes and see what pulls we can get out of the boxes. And then we'll get into some of the packs. So let's take a look. Now I have seen um, some people mention evolutions in some of these, right? There's a different coin. Um, um, I, I don't know what that is. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look at that a little bit longer, but there's another uh, pin, unfortunately, same pin. So we'll, uh, we'll see what we got. We got a code. I'll give that to you guys in a bit here. Sword and Shield, not a bad pack at all. So this is uh, box number two. Darkness of Blaze, again, I like that. Evolutions, another decent pack there, and a Sun and Moon. So box number two, not terribly bad. And we're gonna put these in order of boxes that we open just so we know what's going on with these, right? So let's uh, let's get into another box here. And we're not gonna open up all the packs. Uh, I am gonna open up some of these. And we'll just pick from the packs. But, uh, well, there's a code for you guys right there. And there's a Darkness of Blaze pack, a Sword and Shield, another Evolutions, and a Sun and Moon. So not bad again, that's the third box right there. Uh, the pin is the same as the other ones and a Mewtwo coin. So the coins are different, the pins look like they're the same. Sadly, they've gone and, uh, and done that, but you know, it would be nice if they would have put different pins in there. Um, but really what we're looking for is the vintage packs anyways, right? I mean. Let's see here. Okay, so this one also for... Whoa, uh oh, I am not knocking things over on the side here. All right, here we go. Uh, we do have another Greninja. Two Sword and Shields in this one. I dropped the coin, because, you know, I mean, I drop things on the channel all the time. Uh, a Sun and Moon and a Crimson Invasion. So no Darkness of Blaze on this one. Uh, too bad. No, you know, too bad, too bad. And we'll get you that code in a bit. Let's see what this... All right, here we go. We have a coin, and that's Zorora coin right there. And then the very last box. Uh, let's uh, let's do this. Yeah, cut that open. The best way to open these up is just grab some scissors and just... But if you could... I mean, if you notice, this is a very, very hard wrapping and it's it's very nice very nice i think it's very secure and let's see what this oh wait a minute we did get a vintage pack well i, I don't know if it's vintage is it is is, is 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 platinum considered vintage i don't know i don't know if platinum is considered vintage at this point uh i'd have to look to see but it is an older pack platinum's a nice set you know uh very happy that uh, we got that, we got Sun and Moon uh, Evolutions, so pretty good. Sword and Shield and Darkness Ablaze. So that was actually a really good box right there. Uh, unfortunately, out of the five boxes, this was the best one because it's got these the uh, Platinum uh, pack. So we are gonna get into the Platinum pack. I don't have a problem opening that. So we're gonna get into that one. And what I'm going to do is we're actually going to save up the evolutions packs because I want to do an evolutions opening and I do have uh, some other evolutions products like we saw there with those lightning boxes. So we're going to add those evolutions packs over to that video. So we have three evolutions packs. I'm going to move those off and we're going to do that video. It's going to be, you know, on the channel soon as well. Uh, and then we'll, uh, what we'll do is we'll get into some Darkness Ablaze. We definitely want to get into that. Some Sword and Shield. Uh, we will get into uh, some Darkness Ablaze here. And uh, Sword and Shield and Darkness Ablaze. And I think we have a good amount of packs here for the opening. 
and we'll get into those other ones in a different video but we do have that platinum pack which we're going to get into as well so uh, a good selection here of packs we'll uh we'll get into that we'll move that trash out of the way because we don't want trash anywhere around us and we'll get right into this uh sword and shield pack first let's see what we can get out of this now i do have those codes which i'm going to give you guys so do not worry uh, i think there's something back here guys there is a pharaoh seed a goldine a rosalia a joltic a silicobra uh, a, a sobble reverse sobble and a wabafet v very cool very nice wabafet v i'll definitely take it uh we do have a energy card hanta a vitality band Rabut, and a code for you guys now i do have some sleeves right over here we're gonna grab those sleeves we're gonna put them in a sleeve because wabafet is a pull and we are happy to get the pull all right we're gonna put this right over here all right now move these off to the side because you know whatever and get into another pack so those boxes can be pretty good now i have seen pictures of people pulling base set packs which i'm telling you is pretty uh pretty impressive uh there are some other uh, vintage packs that you can get out of there as well sandaconda is the hollow so we did get at least a sandaconda pull there and there's a code and we'll move these off to the side also here is a code random code here detective pikachu 10 mewtwo gx there you go very nice very nice great success yes great success all right <laughs> let's see uh we have zigzagoon we have amuna snom now have you guys seen the shiny snom that's going to be coming out in shiny v it is uh it's absolutely adorable it's absolutely adorable i love it there is a uh Cincino rare so nothing in this particular pack uh lack and uh we'll just move these off over here we do have that rare santa conda i did not sleeve because uh, i forgot that we had pulled a rare santa conda to be honest with you all right there we go now we have another pack of sword and shield sword and shield here we go a yamper a grookey a Qfont, a bow toy a shinchino or uh chinchow a uh a wooloo and a professor's research in that one so we have a hollow professor's research uh, hitman lee i always love this card and the uh, hitman chan also big fan of those we'll go ahead and sleeve up this uh fantastic uh you know uh elderly lady here whoop right there bam sword and shield we're gonna get into this one and see if we can get another pull oh we got uh i hate doing that i hate showing the code but uh you know the, the pack tricked me it tricked me metacactus a mother bray a uh, poniard crabby crabby wabby and a Lapras V. Beautiful full art Lapras V. Woo! <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about right there. That's a... That's a beauty of a card. I'll tell you. Lapras. Loving that right there. For sure. Energy. A quail fish. A puffy fish there. And a code. So we'll just go ahead and move these off to uh, the side here and darkness ablaze we're going to be getting into those so we haven't uh, opened up a, a darkness ablaze in uh, a couple weeks i think could be wrong i've lost track of time purloin hippopotas sentry larvesta a blaze can reverse and an amphros a non-hollow rare so nothing in that pack i will tell you what these uh packs are not bad you know, sometimes these third-party uh, boxes can be a little meh, and the pulls sometimes are not great. Uh, but this box, these boxes have been pretty decent here. And I have seen some good pictures uh, of people getting some nice pulls 
out of these regular packs, um, even when they don't have the vintage stuff. There's a beautiful Tapu Koko Reverse and a Golurk non hollow so I think these are definitely worth it and I uh, I really do believe that if you have a Walgreens in your area which hopefully you do uh, I know some people may not and uh, that, that is sadly the case um, but you know if you do I suggest going over to your local Walmart talking to somebody finding out if they've got the, the cards, you know? And there's a Grim Snarl V. Uh, of course, before the Grim Snarl V, we had that saddest fish in the sea, Grim Snarl V. We are, uh, we're rhyming here now with, uh, with the pulls, apparently. That's a thing. Um, and we put that right here. And I'm gonna show you guys a code right there. There's a code, there's a code. Uh, we'll show you guys the rest of the codes in just a moment here. So there's a Piers Vanellish and another code. And we'll put those off to the side. Pulling another beautiful uh, pack here of Darkness Ablaze. I love the artwork on Darkness Ablaze packs. They're beautiful. Uh, and I just threw it to the ground like it's nothing. Because, well, I mean, I already have the uh, the art set. And uh, there's a Xaleus and a Heat Ran, uh, uh, a holographic Heat Ran. So. And there's a, uh, you know, a little pulley pull, well, you know, not the best, but we'll take it. It's still a pull. It's still a, a hollow. It's very hard to see this hollow in, uh, in all honesty here. All right, we'll put that right there. Get into the last pack of darkness, a blaze, and see if we can get a pull. There's the saddest fish in the sea one more time, folks. A Q font, Sinisty, Feebas, poor little Feebas, just it looks like it's trying to swim, like it's about to drown, but it's a fish, so how does it drown? I don't know. Pissimian, Purloin Reverse, Scissor V, Full Art, beautiful, beautiful card. Again, I absolutely love Scissor. I like Excitor, uh, basically from the uh, Bug Pokemon. They're my favorites, along with Butterfree. And, you know, you can get Butterfree in this set as well. It's one of my favorite sets of all time, just because of all of the really cool Pokemon that it's got in it. Really love it. Uh, I'm telling you, these boxes, they're pretty good. They're pretty stacked. And, uh, you know, I'm surprised. I really am surprised. Now... Here's his question, is the Platinum Pack going to be any good? Is that Platinum Pack, there's code, there is, is it going to be any good? We don't know, we don't know for sure. Uh, the pack is uh, is beautiful, oh look at that, that's nice, it's, that's nice. When you got to do that, you know it is beautifully sealed. Oh yeah, look at that, beautifully sealed. Alright, let's do it, let's do it. Let's do this thing here. Let's get into this Platinum Pack. I think I did pretty good with that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Still. Mizdrevis. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's go a little bit slower here because this is this is uh, probably some art that a lot of you may not have seen. Some of you may have seen it and, uh, you know, I do apologize. I'm going to go a little slow on this pack. But if you haven't seen it, this is, uh, you know, from the Platinum era. <sighs> I mean, pretty nice, pretty nice. 2009, guys, 2009. So we're talking, um, we're talking 11 years now. So I don't really consider 11 years vintage, in all honesty. But in Pokemon, it kind of is because Pokemon is uh, is not you know 50, 60 years old. So in Pokemon, 11 years is sort of vintage. Rylu, beautiful Rylu, love that card. There's a reverse hollow trainer. Let's see if we can get something here. Let's see if we can get something out of this pack. Unfortunately, it is a non hollow Ludicolo in that one, sadly. But we're going to put that there uh, to the side. We've got a Grotal. Oh, but we look at this War Turtle. That is a beautiful War Turtle. Now, I'm a big fan of, you know, I'm a huge fan of, of Squirtle and Blastoise. War Turtle out of the three is my least favorite. However, 
there are some war turtle arts that are just absolutely amazing and that is one of them i love it i love that and then there's uh herbs there's life herbs you know uh, to uh you know help you with your life apparently so we're gonna go ahead and sleeve up this reverse uh, trainer i'm gonna sleeve up the war turtle because it's war turtle you know and then we're gonna uh, sleeve up this rare Ludicoto, Ludi, Ludicoto, Ludicoto, Coto Ludi, Ludicolo right there. And I do have one more code for you guys. So check that code out. Uh, that is an Elemental Power Tin Jolteon GX. So really cool. Uh, out of the five boxes, unfortunately, just the platinum pack for the vintage stuff. But you know what? I think the pulls were really good. I still have all of these packs still from those boxes along with the evolutions packs and we're going to get into those in another video but I'm excited to get into them because from the packs that we did open we got some pretty good pulls so this is looking good and hopefully you guys can check this video out right over here it is a Spanish base set opening that I did first edition base set packs I also opened up a, a couple of evolutions packs in there as well but first edition base set there were some beautiful beautiful pulls in there and hopefully you guys uh enjoy that video and uh, i'll see you in the next one